Hi, in this video, we will explain what bonds duration tells an investor and how it is calculated. Duration measures a fixed income's sensitivity to changes in interest rate. Duration is a key concept in bond portfolio management for at least three reasons. First, it is a simple summary measure of the effective average maturity of the portfolio. Second, it is an essential tool in immunizing a bond portfolio from interest rate risk. Third, it is a measure of interest rate sensitivity of a bond portfolio. There are two types of duration measures, Macaulay duration and modified duration. Macaulay duration calculates the weighted average time before a bondholder would receive the bond's cash flows. Conversely, modified duration measures the price sensitivity of a bond when there is a change in the yield to maturity. To calculate Macaulay duration, there are two formulas. When you have changes in bond prices and changes in YTM information, use this formula. On the other hand, when you don't have information on changes in bond prices or YTM but have coupon interest payment, use this formula. Let's take an example where I calculate duration using first formula. I will use the second formula in another video. A bond currently sells for 1050 which gives it a yield to maturity of 6%. Suppose that if the yield increases by 25 basis points, the price of the bond falls to 1025. What is the duration of this bond? In this example, since bond price and interest sensitivity information is given, we are going to use this formula. Please note that 100 basis point is equivalent to 1%. So 25 basis points equals 0.25% or 0.0025. Changing in price is 1025 minus 1050 divided by 1050 equals negative Macaulay duration divided by 1 plus 0 0.06 times 0 0.0025. Now if you solve the equation for Macaulay's duration, you get D equals 10.0952. Thanks for watching.